Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the lasso tool inside Photo P. Um, so what you want to do is go over to the la um, to the toolbox over here and then the lasso tool is the third one down. So it's this one right over here. Um, so to um, you just want to right click it, then these three options should appear. Another way to open the window is just to hold and drag like that. So first tool that I'm going to um, tell you about is the lasso select. So just left click that. Um, so make sure you have um, your layer selected and just hold left click and drag. Make sure that you keep holding left click. Then this line should follow you. So once you just go back to this point, then um, let go and then these dotted lines should appear. So um, to get rid of those lines, um, first of all, just um, press delete on your keyboard. Then what's ever in those lines will be deleted. And to get rid of these dotted lines, just press control D on your keyboard like that. So now we have um, an empty space. So let's say I want to um, just keep this background. Oh, sorry, I just want to keep this ice cream. So if you use the lasso tool, it's going to be um, a bit harder since we all, since I'm going to be doing it freehand. So that's why um, lasso tool can be a bit hard. So I'm just going to delete like that. See, um, it's good, but it's not the best. So that's basically what the lasso select is. Now I'm going to um, do the polygonal. So just right click on the lasso, um, the lasso tool. Go to polygonal lasso select left click and um, just I recommend when you're using this one just zoom in and this um, one isn't the best for curved corners like this but it's good I guess so I'm just going to show you like it so just left click and just click to, it's basically a point to point this one so um, it's good if you have like um, squares and rectangles and just plain easy simple shapes like that but if you want if you're trying to cut out something like this i don't really recommend this tool because it'll just be a bit harder since polygon is meant for um kind of straight like this so i'm just going to show you this cone so i'm just going to go this like this it's obviously not the best since I'm kind of rushing it, but yeah. So let me just cut this cone out real quick. So there you go. And now it's cut out. Um, I made a bit of a mistake over here, but it's alright. So yeah, now we got that bit of the cone cut out. So now I'm gonna, so that's basically what the polygonal um, lasso select is. So now I'm gonna show you what the magnetic lasso select is. So just right click, click this. And just before you use this, just keep in mind that if you're gonna use this, you have to have a plain background. So just, for example, a white background, a green, blue, red. You don't want a complex background because it won't work. So to use this tool, just um, you want to just left click and then just drag, then it should automatically select it like that. And it's not the best, but yeah, it's basically what it is. So you, just, you, you don't want to go too close to it because it's going to pick up the small details, but you don't want to go too far away from it too. So just keep following this line like this. Something like that, and once you're done, just click and um, press delete on your keyboard. Okay, so when I was editing this video, I just made something sound so much more confusing than it had to be. So I'm just going to cut that bit out. But what I'm talking about is, um, let's just say I want to keep, so when you normally, you normally use the lasso tool when you're cutting something out. But I'm going to show you um, when you use the lasso tool on how you can keep the image. So just like this image right here. Um, I traced um, the ice cream and I'm going to show you how to keep the ice cream and remove the background. So just copy it, control C and control V. 
then you can delete this layer and then you've got the tool that you've selected. So yeah, um, if you have any questions or problems, just leave me down in the comment section and I can help you. Anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!